I got my first job straight out of college answering phones at a company that manufactured cardboard boxes. Three careless managers and two months later, I made $80,000. My second job was a liaison for a charity that built water wells overseas. Three months later, they generously donated just shy of $100,000 to the Penelope Bloom Foundation. Next, I was the mistress of a hedge fund manager. It was complicated. I quickly learned that powerful people tend to protect their money. I only got out of there with a $40,000 watch. Lesson learned. Now, I sell real estate. People are so naive and gullible. They never see me coming. My name? Victoria. Or Jane. Or Penelope. Depending on who you ask. Excuse me, I have a new appointment. Stories and movies that deal with real things that matter, I think, make the best movies. The way that we live and the people that we meet and how certain circumstances can change so many things for us. It's the twists and turns that you're going to see in the movie. It's a thriller. It's a psychological thriller. It's a drama. Calamity is about a woman who is newly remarried. She's got a daughter that's not too happy with the new husband. They've got money problems, the tip, you know, all the regular typical stresses of life. On top of all of that, she has a father who has Alzheimer's who is deteriorating pretty quickly. The relationship between me and her father isn't very well. She blames the death of her mother on her father, Ben, which was a freak accident. So Mia decides that the family needs to go on one last trip to see Grandpa. But upon getting there, she meets Ben's new in-home caretaker, Victoria. There's something about Victoria she can't put her finger on. And as the story goes, you find out there's definitely more to Victoria than meets the eye. My name is Leanna Taylor and I'm playing Mia West. She's very much defined by her relationships with other people. She's a mom, she's a wife, she's a daughter. And I think as the story progresses, Mia gets to kind of find out who Mia is apart from those things. And she, she turns out to be a badass too, which I don't think she ever knew that she was. I'm Justin Armstrong and I'm playing Ethan West. I don't want to say that he's very complex. I want to say that he's pretty face value for what you'd expect a man to be in the situation that he's in. He's a character that had a very solid outlook on the life that he wanted and the things that he was going to do with his life and a little bit of things, those things changed for him. That'll change a person's path very quickly because you have to be responsible for different things than what you're used to. Those little things can put such a turmoil on your life that the choices that you make are not always going to be the best ones and it's going to come around and, and show you why in the long run. I'm uh, Larry Jack Dodson and I'm going to be playing the part of Ben. Ben is the father and grandfather of the other characters in the film. And he has early dementia, early Alzheimer's, but he's a, he's a sharp character, although he goes off into his own little world sometimes. He knows a lot more than people think he knows. I'm Lance De Los Santos. I play uh, Dr. Lisbon. He's a caring guy. He's a good, charismatic uh, doctor. He's really caring about the health of the family. We don't know exactly uh, what to expect from him. I come off as a nice, great guy, but uh, we just don't know what to expect from him. I'm Kelsey Deanne and I'm playing Victoria. There's more to her than meets the eye. On the surface, she's a quote-unquote bad, villainous woman, but deep down she is so much more than that. She's vulnerable. To have that come alive and see the effects that it has on not only her own life, but others around her is just so complicated and amazing to be able to dive into that and play that role. The reason we're doing Indiegogo is because we need your help. We already have most of our cast and crew as well as everything we need in place to make this movie, including our budget. We just need a little bit more, which is why we're here. The majority of what we need now is for post-production. We need to have the film professionally color corrected, we need it to be professionally sound mixed. We're gonna come together and we're gonna make this no matter what, and we're gonna make it good. We're gonna make it great, because we believe in it. Please feel free to donate. Share with your family, friends, coworkers. Anybody you may 
may know that would be interested in helping a low-budget film get made. I think people are going to be really interested and intrigued by it. Mm -hmm.